Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. Siri is one of the most interesting features on the iPhone 4S. Now, Siri, I believe, will be coming to Mac OS X in the future. I don't think we'll see anything like that until after the iPhone 5 launches, because right now the killer feature of the iPhone 4S is the exclusivity of Siri. But once that launches, I would not be surprised if Siri functionality was brought to Mac OS X. Fortunately for users of the Mac, there actually is a very similar service, although not nearly as intelligent, available today. So I'm going to show you how to use that. It's called Speakable Items, and you have to enable it by going to System Preferences. Once you're in System Preferences, go to Speech, and then turn Speakable Items on. That will give you this little command thing here. And just to go through some of the choices you have, you can your listening key is the key that you press for the speakable items program to start listening to you in this case it's set by default to escape which works fine now listening method you can do that just while the key is pressed or you can have it listen continuously with a keyword for instance you could it's defaulted to computer but you could use butler you could use siri if you want to go that route you can do whatever you want and then you can choose when you want it to listen for that Right now, we're just going to stick with the key just to make it the most responsive for this demo. And then upon recognition, you can get it to acknowledge your command and play a certain sound. You can also select your microphone inputs and calibrate it. And then under the commands tab, you just have different commands enabling address book commands, application switching commands, global speakable commands. If you want front window or menu bar commands, you can enable them as well. You can also configure that. So let's start off with the first thing hide this application it automatically goes in and hides that application that we were just looking at now what about some other things what if we don't know what today's date is what day is it today it's friday november 18th it knew that it was friday november 18th and went ahead and did that for us let's try something else open google chrome it opens google chrome just the way i left it and now we have Google Chrome here. Now let's say we wanted to go down to the page. We can definitely go ahead and do that. Move page down. Conversely, move page up. And it should have worked there, but for some reason it didn't, so we can try that again. Move page up. Move page to the top. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't working, but there are a lot of different commands that are available for you. So. Let's go ahead and open up some other applications. Just some other things. Switch to Spotify. So now it, we know it doesn't just work with applications that you have pre-installed. Spotify is obviously not an application that Apple ships, but it goes ahead and works with that. Hide this application. Switch to text edit. Now we're in text edit, and we can do some interesting things here. Uh, we can take our clipboard, whatever save there, and paste it. So paste the clipboard here go, it goes ahead and, and paste that for you so there's a lot of other things that you can do too you can switch to terminal that launches the terminal and it launched it in my other browser on my other screen hide this application and now let's say you don't know exactly all the functionality that you can do you actually can go down here and there's also a voice command to get this but you can also uh, I already have it open, but you can get the speech commands window, and that looks something like this. I'm running Snow Leopard, by the way, and you can see here it gives you all of the commands that you've spoken recently, and then it gives you a sortable way to look at all the commands that you have. So for address book, let's say, you can set up meetings, you can set up alarms, you can set alarms for various different methods and different inputs speakable items you can cancel your last command you can copy to the clipboard you can get mail you can log out you can listen continuously so that means it keeps listening for commands so you don't have to use a key you can open voiceover you can save a document you can start your screensaver this one's interesting that we'll go ahead and try out tell me a joke knock knock who's there Thayer Thayer who Thayer who See, this one's hard. Stop with the jokes. Okay, back to work. Sometimes they have interesting names and it's hard to say, so we'll try that again. Tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Sarah. Sarah who? Sarah who? 
left Sarah Doctor in the house. And then that time it actually worked. But again, it's this isn't perfect speech recognition. It's not actually analyzing what you're saying. It's just checking the, the audio that's coming in versus preset uh, commands. So it's not nearly as efficient as Siri. But there you go. There's speakable items in Mac OS X. Essentially bring you Siri capabilities to the Mac now. The, I hope that you guys like this video. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.